Welcome to EEWeb's Tech Lab. Today, we'll be discussing Regal's MSO 2302A Mixed Signal Oscilloscope from the MSO 2000A series. Starting at about $1,200, this oscilloscope features 300 MHz bandwidth with 2 giga samples per second, a memory depth of 14 megapoints with an option up to 56 megapoints. The large, 8-inch, high-resolution screen typical to Regal scopes allows for easy review of your data. It features two-channel input and has an Ethernet connection for networking and USB ports to interface with computers, save waveforms to USB storage devices, or print directly to printers. The MSO 2000A series has all the same user-friendly features of other Regal oscilloscopes, such as horizontal scaling, vertical scaling, very simple measurement, just by going over here, pressing frequency, and your measurements appear on the bottom. There's also very nice color coding here, so you know that here, yellow, is your channel one, and blue is your channel two. However, what sets this oscilloscope apart from the other Regal oscilloscopes we've reviewed here at EEWEB is that this is designed specifically to fit into the growing market of low-speed serial signaling. Earning its name of mixed signal, you can compare an analog and a digital signal directly. This is especially useful in regards to DAX, being able to see the digital components and the analog composite at the same time. The mixed signal portion of the oscilloscope has a digital input right here, wherein you can put up to 16 bits of input. Currently it's set up, it's plugged into the Regal test board. The test board is something that Regal's developed so you can test different portions of your oscilloscope and it does different sine waves, square waves, the like. Currently it's plugged into an 8-bit DAC where it's outputting the information both in digital form and in analog form. So we're going to move our level 1, our channel 1, to the DAC output of the analog form. We are going to get rid of our channel 2 because we no longer need it. And then we can just hit the auto button, it'll uh, auto range it, and then we turn on the logic analyzer. And right away you can see what we have here is a sine wave made up of eight uh, digital signals and the digital signals are up on the top. You can see them moving around to make this uh, very pretty sine wave. We can make different changes to how it's viewed by going to the logic analyzer options and we go down, let's make this wave size a little bit bigger. I'll get that back up. Let's make it medium, or even if we go large, so it's directly in the back right there. So in this way, you can actually compare directly what is going at, on at each moment of the sine wave with your digital output. In this way, if you have any issues with your DAC, you can see exactly what you need to do. The MSO 2000A series is a powerful, affordable addition to your embedded system troubleshooting toolbox.